Bonnie Delathlin and I'm here at Farm Sanctuary for the celebration for the turkeys and I'm here with four-time world champion, the spider, John Sally. Bingo. Hi, Bonnie. <laughs> who's also a friend of the animals, both of us are. And uh, tell us how you first started out, like how'd you get involved with Farm Sanctuary? Uh, I got involved with Farm Sanctuary. I guess I went to see his great movie. I saw Earthlings and, uh, and then I saw, uh, I was in a movie called Skin Flit, uh, Skin Trade with, uh, <laughs> with uh, Shannon directed. And then I was invited to go see Bold Native. And then after I saw Bold Native, I was more and after realizing it wasn't just about, I deal in food, I deal in being, uh, eating plant-based diets. I was helping, but I could have helped more. So I decided to uh, get involved in Farm Sanctuary, had me fly to New York, and I met Gene and read his book. And now I'm like, uh, I'm like a soldier. You are. Yeah. What do you think is the biggest misconception about being a vegetarian? Because I get asked all the time, well, you're not healthy, you're tired, your energy, this and that, which I believe is the opposite, so. Oh, the biggest misconception is that uh, they think eating meat is sexy. Uh, so the biggest misconception is it is very unsexy to be a meat eater, a carnivore, very sexy to only eat vegetables, fruits, nuts, and grains. So the conception of sexy is definitely vegan. Now fill in the blank, if everyone knew what, they would they would turn veg. If everyone knew how important it was to celebrate life, they would be a vegan. That's good. Yeah, it was quick, see? <laughs> you didn't know I was going to be quick like that. Now, this is a celebration for the turkeys, all of our friends back here. Is it a celebration for you as well? Yeah. Celebration is, uh, I uh, was helped to adopt a turkey in here named uh, Harley. He hasn't come up. She hasn't come up yet to see me, but... Um, Yes, a celebration because I finally get to see animals uh, in a great form. They're free. This is a beautiful 300 acre farm. Uh, I never go camping. I've never really done any. I'm a city kid, but I am. You're doing for the animals. I you know. guys hear that? He's here just for y'all. <laughs> yeah, they really care. They just want to eat the food we got set up. So, what do we, what's going to be on your Thanksgiving table, and what can we tell people back home to put on their table? I'm going to have spicy fried string beans, I'm going to yeah, have, nice. right, and I, I make a turferky, so, but I make it jerk, so I make a jerky turferky, so it's going to be like really that. spicy. Happy jerk turferky day. That's right. <laughs> now, for people who say, I don't want to give up turkey, and I'm kind of reiterating that, what can, what can you tell them to give it up, to encourage them to give it up this, this Thanksgiving? Well, I learned this, Bonnie, people are going to do what they want to do, and if you show them a better way, uh, and I used to say, when you know better, you do better. Mm -hmm. And if you don't, then that's ignorance. So you're gonna have to deal with the other side of ignorance. The last question for you, what is your favorite farm animal, Don? My favorite farm animal would have to be a cow. And I wanna meet- He's mad. He's mad? <laughs> well, my next favorite is a turkey. No. <laughs> See, we're connected, right, Arthur? She's so into this interview. <laughs> See? I got juice with the turkeys, too. <laughs> well, thanks, John, for your time. Thank you. And uh, everyone back home, make sure go veg and support the celebration for the turkeys. Bye, y'all. <laughs>